This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, of course, WAC 100 is keeping his foot on T.I.'s neck. T.I. recently spoke about snitching and said he lied. He said, I was lying about snitching on my cousin, my dead cousin. He said, he said his cousin came to him in a dream. He said, yo, take all my charges, bro. When we got caught with that gun, you know, I know I passed away, bro, but take all my charges. He said he was lying now. He said he's going to show Boosie the paperwork. Boosie said, Boosie vowed he still won't do the album, but I guarantee you that changes. Because money, everything was invested into this project. He even gave him an out. He said, I think he was lying, bro. I think he was lying. If you think he was lying, you gave him an out. Because the day after, he said he was lying. And they're going to work it out, and they're going to still put this album out. Trust me. Um, so anyways... Of course, whack 100 ways in because, you know, you can't. there's certain things you can't look past. You can't look past the snitch commercial. You can't look past a lot of things. And whack 100 points these things out. And I can't lie to you. He's, he's not wrong, man. Like, in this situation, he's not wrong. You know? And uh, let's play his little thing right here. And I don't think Boosie is dumb to the fact of everything else. I think in Boosie here, he like... Nigga, uh, you took the stand over there. Your man got killed. And Give me it. We had to silence the gun transaction with you and the feds direct. And then you did 12 months a day. Then you did the motherfucking tell the police commercial. Right? Then we just, just watched this human trafficking where the lady said you stuck her, your foot in her pussy. All kind of crazy shit. We don't know where that went. And then you and your girl got caught. 500, whatever that is, E pills in LA. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, now you coming out saying you told on a nigga even though he was dead. And Boosie Head is like, you prone to snitch. Yeah. At no time have you stood, you stood in that box and accepted what come with that. You always find a way to get out of it the wrong way. Seems to be the, the situation. I think that's what he's saying. He like, because I'm going to be real. You know? Shit. You know what? Nigga, the nigga got... The camera showed the car pulled up on you. Man, dead in the passenger seat. You didn't see the color of the car? Oh, man, shit. I blacked out. I ain't seen nothing. You didn't hear nothing? I ain't hear nothing, man. I don't know, bro. Maybe I had an out-of-body experience. Plead the fifth. I ain't getting on that motherfucking wood, bro. I'm not getting on that wood by nothing in the world. So I think Boosie is just looking at it like, nigga, every time you confront it with the law, you're cooperating with the law. Even if it's you telling on you, you know, on your family. I really think if this would have been the only situation, he might not be feeling this, this way. He just ain't gonna have all the other conversations because he felt like, nigga, everybody know what's going on. Now he under that no cooperation. Yeah, so, you know, uh, he's, not he's not wrong. He's not wrong about that. Uh, T.I. has a lot of infractions against him and always has an excuse and uses big words that he looks up in the dictionary every day trying to get out of things he thinks he's above everybody because he uses big words but you know really just comes down to being a person of morals and principles you know and boosie stands on certain morals and principles you know and he, he can't look the other way in the situation you know but i guarantee he does look the other way okay i guarantee he says well T. I said he lied and showed me the paperwork and we'll never see the paperwork ts ts not going to post the paperwork for everyone to see Someone's going to look that case up now. People are getting very creative about looking up cases and paying for documents and stuff. That's now going to come out because they've made it a thing. If Boosie came out and then T.I. let some time pass, maybe worked it out behind the scenes and didn't do that interview where he said, you know, just now, where he says, we had a kerfuffle. Um, I'm going to tell you probably would have gone away but now people are determined to find the paperwork and someone will find it and someone will post it and then he'll be forced to explain it and break it down post it himself explain it 
because he does care what other people think. I'm, I don't care what he says in his Instagram posts. If he didn't care, he wouldn't do an interview explaining himself. He would just let it be what it is. We'll see what happens. I guarantee you this album still comes out. They're going to find a way. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Well, I can't guarantee anything. My feeling is. <laughs> I'll check you guys the next time.